So I wasn't planning on hitting record right now because I was gonna do the merchant stuff first. And uh This dude decided to hang out. Yeah, that and this happened. Well let's transfer. What brings you to Whiterun? What brings you to Whiterun, God? <laughs> oh, I'm just passing there, man. No, I'm here to help. I'm here to help get you down. <laughs> He lives up there. He lives up there, got it. He lives above Report everyone else. Saying dragons ain't sure. If by word. Ah, the most of us mind the bard. Ah, we know what Mikael, he sings only for gold. That's fine. That was a thing that happened. Take a good look around, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything. Everything's for sale. He's got a roll of paper. Mm -hmm. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, not quite the level up. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sell these because we'll use them later. All right. Oh, we're almost there. We just need to sell a little bit more stuff, and then we'll have house. Then <laughs> we will have house. One house. One singular house. Oh, he was so happy. One <laughs> one like, unit of house. One house. We can still sell those potions of resist frost. Oh, okay. Now you might say, "Wow, you guys are running through all of your resources." Steamed pudding. I don't know about y'all, but uh. I don't yeah. appreciate that. Health is increased by 150 for 900 seconds. Stamina regenerates 50% faster for 900 seconds. Oh, what else did she give us? A hat, right? A goblet, too. I'm pretty sure she gave us a a goblet. Hat. Nice. I almost want to wear the hat just for BM. Let's do it. We're already squishy enough as it is. Oh, hey. So your dog's back to normal. All right. So what else? There's. I don't. I think there's much else we can sell. That's unique, so I want to keep that. This is our actual two-handed weapon. We need this for mining. These arrows don't weigh anything. Uh, this hat doesn't really matter. These are the unique ones. The rings are light enough that they're good just for enchantment fodder. These few edibles don't matter, or these ingredients, and then these books don't weigh shit. Keys are irrelevant. So yeah, I think we've gotten through pretty much everything we can. Our most of our weight is just our armor and our like some ingots and the dragon stuff. Oh wait, the golden claw gives us five hundred. That's almost enough right there. No, that's true. Because I'm finding somebody who will actually pay for it. What do you mean? I know someone who will pay for the golden claw. Oh, is another quest item? Yeah, we did the quest. I do this every time. Watch, there's no way it'll fail in Before It Fails. <laughs> <sighs> oh, and while we're here, we can also... Please tell me this book is still in here, by the way. Sick. Oh, thank God, it's still in here. Until we have a house, I'm just going to use that as the Legend of Zelda chest, which I'm not convinced the gold earrings weren't a part of, but whatever. I don't actually know what they are. Oh, she's not over here. That's okay. Yo, it's Big Dog. We can do Big Dog side quest. Greetings, Sister Ellen. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. Be 
He's a bard. Do it aside with Fendel or Sven. Oh, have you never done this class before? Oh. Okay, well here, we're gonna actually do it then. Personally, I usually go with the second one because it's funnier. Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I'd match that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. You know what? I think I have done this quest before. So, do you want to find Sven and tell him about the letter, or do you want to go ahead and give it to him? Oh, what are the rewards for either side? Um, so basically, whichever of the two you side with, Fendel or Sven, you can get as a companion, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they become friendly and give you a key to their house. I imagine they probably give you like a couple bucks or something too, I don't remember. Let's do the thing you can. Conjure? The, well, no, the companion thing. Well, they'll both be companions. It just oh. depends on who you side with. Um, Sven can teach... I'm sorry, Fendel can teach you archery. I don't know if Sven can teach you anything, though. I think we get the letter to the chick. Chicken! Gotta go find Sven then. So that's the Riverwood Trader, which is where Carmilla is. She's the sister of um, the dude that you give the Golden Claw to. Gotcha. And this is Sven. Hey, bro. Fendel thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling you. Lucan's got a little bit of everything in the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Ali and collect some. At the Bard's Colleges, if you go there, talk to the young He's the headmaster. So, since we've already talked to Fendel, if we come to Sven, we basically just tell him, hey, uh, this dude's trying to slime you. Which one do you guys want to right now? Um, I think I don't, I don't really take Fendel, personally, but it... Which one would you prefer? Fendel. Bard or Archer? Uh, Barcher. I was about to say that. I'm not <laughs> Barcher. It, it, it all amounts to really the same thing. It's just a personal preference. The honest route. The what? The honest route. This one? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Um, technically, they're both equally honest and dishonest because if you talk to Sven first, he does the same thing Fendel does. Except instead of being. Well, no, actually. No, never mind. It actually is literally the same thing, I okay, think. Okay, then I'll stick with elves and then fuck stick this guy. Okay, fuck this guy. Until next time. It has been decided. Out of my way, stranger. Bitch, we will kill you so money. fast. What do you want? I'm intimidated. Come oh, prank us, bro. Come prank us. Jesus Christ. Look, I spawned in there, okay? Leave me alone. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. 
We are done talking about this. Maybe you could talk some sense into my thick-headed brother. So look at this. We can say that Fendel wanted us to give her a letter in Sven's name, or we can lie and say we have a letter from Sven. Sure. Lie? Another call in my pet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean out, you can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. I better get going. Riverwood Trader is everything you need. I think I have a few old spell books laying about. One more, you'll have to go to the car stand. It's just a big stick. Big, biggest stickus. Do you have any rolls of. <gasps> he has a roll of paper. One roll. Don't you need two? I need two, but that's one of them. We're part of the way there. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we did have a, an ornament, solid gold in the shape. You mean this one? You, it. you mean this? <laughs> I'm gonna put this back where it belongs, and I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. My sister Camilla or I will be happy. Four thousand nine hundred eighty-eight. No. It means so much to us to have the claw back where so it belongs. Oh, well. Thank you. I like how then you can just like take some of this other stuff too. Yeah, take all that way you sell it. Take almost there. <laughs> That's so mean. Oh well. I don't want to take the man's cheese. I do kind of want to steal the claw back though. You, my friend, need practice. You were saying. <laughs> Listen, this might be stolen, but I don't care. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, Some may call this junk. Me, I call it a treasure. Oh, wait. All these goblets that we were given. They're we're still eight shy. I don't want to sell any of my actual stuff. Not sell the snout. Some steamed pudding. Here, have a mammoth snout, have steamed pudding, and an apple. We can have zero gold. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's perfect. Now's our chance. <laughs> Quick, before something else happens. Okay. Oh, we should go talk to Fendel. Hey, bro. We got your chick. Oh, shit. Uh, you should say. <sighs> Summon. He flew away. If I had more magic... Uh, oh, does the staff have any juice? Come on. No, oh, it's out. It only had the one. Yeah, sick him. Yeah, well, that mildly inconvenience. I know. This gives me magicka regen. I'll hold it for the passive ability. Pretty good. Yeah, good. Oh, whoops. Oh well. Ow, pain. Nope, 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 nope. Go get him, you guys. Alright. I'll be over here. 
Go kick his ass. I'll sneak attack him with the sword. Oh, uh, nice job, guys. Guards told people to get inside too, and immediately went to work, like doing their job. I actually really appreciate that. Very um, yeah, that's a good rope Uh, to disenchant. And I don't think anybody died either. Yeah, I think everyone actually survived that. Fuck. Good job, team. Somebody must have been missing a hit point there somewhere. Oh god, I think the only thing that... Oh, is that dog still alive? I appreciate your help. Please, take The one in the corner there? Was that alive or was it dead? No, he's good. Oh, well we got 25 gold and we got gold off the dragon, so it's not 5,000 even anymore. Which means we could have kept our mammoth snout. Damn it. We can disenchant both of those, I think, actually, which will be nice e experience. Sure. Well, you probably should go to the College of Winterhold and sell that uh, robe to Feralda, because she's got the most gold out of everybody. But my disenchantment experience. <laughs> and come over speech. Form power. Nah, shouting restores stuff, but more importantly, you get speech experience. Shouting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll just be nice. Yeah. Huh. Somehow we have 30 in heavy armor and we're almost at 31. Which and enchantment is actually, I think, our highest at 37. Huh. Destruction is actually our second highest at 34. Weird. Hello. I'm stuck on a cabbage cart. Oh, the dude's moved. I was gonna do the smithing tutorial for a free dagger. There you go. I think that's the other guy, though. Oh, I guess since we've done something before, he's got nothing for us. Also, there's just a dragon corpse in the middle of Riverwood now. Hey, shoot it with an ice spike that way. Uh, oh, the horse. Yeah, shoot it with an ice spike. I don't know, I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one else seems to mind. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get that discovery. I almost said boom, 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 and now I'm just disappointed in myself. Are you sure you should be laying down? Absolutely. Uh. You're doing great. I don't like the looks of that. Oh, one person running, one person cowering. Uh, I don't like the looks of that. Oh, uh, why are they singing? Why are they carolers? <laughs> That's funny. This is way too many people.
Oh, we got kill move. Bro, why are they are shooting a bow right in their face? We're gonna chill for a minute and let it pass through. We got through the master vampire well enough, but it's a few too many of them. Okay, that's probably fine. Hmm. You having fun? We sparks. Zip zap. Zip, zap, flip, flap. I came here to take a nap. What do you want? Yeah. Divine smile on you. Not bad. I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. Got a whole ass level. Each of those. Hostilities? Where's, uh... Where's Stuart McStewart, so... Where's the dude? Is he asleep or something? It's 10.35 in the morning. Get up and do your job of standing here. Talk to you or wait on him. Make a mood. Balro and I, when you indicate goals, you are sure. I am powerful. Oh, yes. Take your pick. And those are every day. To be fair, the dragon ones are new, and that's everyone. What is it that. Well, Wolf Heart is a very old tale. In the old, but only the gray beards bear the mask. You, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Decorating guide. Yeah. We have 188 gold. Visit Dragon's Reach. Oh, I mean. Hmm. We sell more things. We need to have more things to sell. I bet the Illuminati built the Sky Forge. Probably. This dude not wearing a shirt. Sure, that's lewd. So why, why is the rest of his body different than the color of his face? Uh... I'm going to walk this way now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just a t-shirt or something. He just oh, is this chick out? Can I go ahead and grab the quest from her? It's a sh the yes. yeah, let's go ahead and get the quest for this while we're here. Our, even its name is an echo. I thought, I think if we had, but even if you could get to the end of me, you couldn't. If you want, you have the deep. It's called Metaphane. I had it. Your spirit is, it's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. So, it's a, a sad 
I don't know, it's dying or something. We have to go kill some hacks to get a dagger to stab something or something with it. Could handle a dragon, but in White Run, a vampire or two is the bane of our existence. Alright. Oh, we can take that sword back up there. rested at the bonfire and got Estus flasks. Nice. Excellent. I'm keeping those. Those are nice. I enjoyed that so much. Man, I remember there was this one mod and it was actually the very first time I discovered mods ever even existed. And my first heartbreak of knowing that I'd never be able to have mods in my house because my internet is so bad. But I was playing Oblivion as a wee child. Mm -hmm. And I got her item my brother got on YouTube at a friend's house one day mm -hmm. and found a Silent Hill mod for Oblivion where you could go to an abandoned house and peer in the head with you like a boss fight. Mm -hmm. That was Sorry. Oh, hey there. I didn't mean to make you upset. On my honor. It's pretty easy once you get the thing where intimidation is twice as successful. Mmm, speech perk. Hmm. 400 gold. We literally just told some guy to fuck off and gave us 400 gold. You don't understand how much that actually helps to check out. Well, that all depends on... Oh, thank you. 
A man with a tusk. I wonder, did Bellathor have a man with a tusk? I wasn't looking. I think he did. We just buy one and just be done with that. It's got to be worse than he is. Matter of fact, Denora knows a liar when she sees one. Uh. Okay. I I guess he's out of the shop. Oh, I think I do think so. Yeah. He must have snuck out the back or something. It's like one in the afternoon, but. Sure. Yeah. Do 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 what dude? The drunk guy who we're giving the stuff to. Oh, that's uh, um, well, he's drunk. He doesn't know. Well, I want to know. There he is. You know, you ain't so bad. Here, take it this. You know, uh, you ain't so bad. Well, Here, take this. <laughs> Merchant boots. Mm. Sounds like money. We have made it home. We. What do you need, my thing? I'm glad, friends. I have something for you. Here. A hat and a book. Fuck, that's a big book. Read me, damn it. Read this or rabid lemurs will eat you when you sleep. Seriously, though, read it. Would you like to read it or do you want me to? Oh, you should. Greetings and salutations, friend. First off, thank you. You're awesome for downloading this mod, and I appreciate you taking the time to check it out. It makes my many hours working on it worthwhile. I am breaking the fourth wall here a bit because I want to make sure that you have a smooth installation slash uninstallation. I've actually read this beforehand, by the way. Mm. This is basically just letting you know, uh... Hey, don't fuck it up. Mm -hmm. so the options ledger is a tool I have put into the mod to help address common issues regarding performance as well as help resolve certain update issues and facilitate smooth uninstallation of this mod. It allows the following options to take things out, fix things up, prepare whatever, you know the shit. Uh, literally just don't break it. Yep, there we go. Yep. Don't really have to worry about installation instructions. I've already got it in there. Um, if Make sure you take everything out if you want to remove the mod, but why would we ever do that? Because it's awesome. Okay. And as far as the actual mod goes, there's a couple things that just note some compatibility things and other stuff like that. Sure. Nothing major. But otherwise, oh yeah, we got another book to read. We will read every book in the game. We've got a Christmas tree added. <laughs> And presents okay. under the tree. And there's a basement. There's nothing in here, but there's a basement. This house is already better. I'm pretty sure this is Lydia's room now. Lydia sleeps in the basement. Oh, she deserves it. <laughs> Which is just the funniest. I don't know why she's just standing there, but yeah. And now we have a bed to sleep in. And a chest where I can put... Things that we can use for crafting later. Look at that. Am 
then I guess I'll put the roll of paper until I have the other one. Sure. And then we can put all of the books that we've already read. Until we get our bookshelves. Yeah, until we get the bookshelf. Once we get the bookshelf, then... Can you read that? Um, that's a spell tome? And don't we already know that spell? Did we... That's what I thought. Did we loot another one without even noticing it? I guess. Huh. And this way we can pick up all the books that are actually cool and we can read them whenever we want without worrying about inventory issues. I kind of want to keep the Estus flasks in here. Yeah, you should. Because they're actually really cool. And then we can stick these extra ones. those rings and that amulet and stuff that we're not worried about using, but we might later. Mm -hmm. Like the unique staff yeah, there. that needs to go. And I'm going to put in a bunch of these little jewelry things that are great for enchanting later. And I'm actually going to keep the hat and the boots in there too, just, to, just for dress-up stuff. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Now we're now we've got like tons of inventory space. I don't know how that got there. Dragon shout. Let's unlock ice form. Sure. I'm gonna equip ice form. Just because it seems cool. Mm. What are you doing that for? Why are you in my house telling me what to do? Why are you so concerned? It's just a book, sweetie. Okay. It's just a book. Spell books can be harvested off dead bodies. Nice. Harvested off dead bodies? Are you sure about that one? I Harvested. Am, I am completely sure. Oh god, it's the carolers again. Why is- where is this man? Uh, he did that to me once as well. Uh. Uh. You can use drugs to make potions. Drugs. I think they're meaning like mushrooms and shit. Mm -hmm. They'll get it next time. Hey. Shit. Good job. So if I stand in front of you, do you, uh, how's it good? What the, the fuck was that? Did you see that? I did. I, the arrows. From Asia? Thank you. Please, take these few coins. Our service is ready. Enjoy your visit. So I think we can get to the bedroom. They are masters of the way of points. Yeah, we should be able to afford one or two. Yeah, 647 gold. Those are better than the last years. Now, what would you like to purchase? Hey, well, wait. See, I would just like to point out 
that some people give modders flack for putting in things like books and stuff in the game to explain how shit works. The devs did that! The devs shoved a book in the game to explain how that mechanic works mm -hmm. and how m modifying the player home works so that this dude didn't have to tell you. Mm -hmm. Ain't weird. nobody allowed to give modders shit for that. The devs did it and nobody complains that they did. Right. It's, it's more friendly. I'm it just happens. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't know why anybody would give them shit for that anyway. I mean, I mean I'm not say, I'm not saying it's like a thing that happens all the time, yeah. but you know, it, it it is a thing that sometimes people are like, Very well. Dungeon furniture. Nothing, like 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 nothing else here costs like one hundred or anything. Yeah, like so. Wait, what? You didn't take any gold. What? Wait. Is it just a check if you own that much money? Is there anything else you like I don't get anything. No, see, now it's removing the gold. I'm sorry. Is there anything else you like 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 That's whack. It gave the bedroom furnishings and it didn't take the money. But then I went back and it took the money on the others. Okay, well that's really weird. So we just decided with that going on that we're just gonna leave this right. Okay, that's cool. Also, because we're considered outside, even though we're under covers, it's raining while we're under. Yeah. The roof integrity is intact. The roof doesn't have integrity. <laughs> In fact, it's just an illusion. It, it's fire charge. No, I'm not. Dragon's Reach isn't even a real house. The only thing we need to do is, yeah, we already know that. So we can, so we need to try to sell that, mm -hmm. and then check and see if Bellaflor has a mammoth tusk for I what's her know. face. Money. Hey, we have enough money to buy another thing. Nice. <laughs> Come back, bitch. The arrows. Uh, we have just under 300, so we can get kitchens in the well. living room. Which is weird because things that we already bought showed up on there too. I wonder if it bugged out and just didn't actually buy it at all. I do appreciate that within reason they do have a system where everybody contributes in some way. Like the old ladies that can't do much else, at least they still clean. So they're not like just a dead weight on society. Like at least they're doing something, you know? Right. Like I'm not gonna say that the system for society implemented in Skyrim is like perfect or anything, but there are a couple things that I do like, and that's that no matter your age, as long as you're able to help, you do. Now that doesn't. Now, the amount of contribution is obviously like appropriate for your age and your physical capability. But as long as you're able to, you still do something, even if it's only a teeny little bit. As long, no one's ever dead weight, unless you're like sick and bad. But that's different. Right. Which is just something I, I do like because I do think it's fair that everybody help, even if it's something very minor. Okay, well. Is he dead? Maybe. No. He died. No, he's not dead. We were in there just yesterday. 
You know, it's funny that you need one when we're literally trying to come to this guy to get it. Four oh seven. That is wait an hour. No? Okay, he's try the next day because that day might just be off on holidays. Yeah. Tierdas? I don't know what day is Tierdas. Tuesday. It's either Tuesday or Thursday. I can't remember. Why would you know what day he has off? Does he, does he have an off day? Is that just a thing? Yeah, so you bought the living room one, quote unquote, but uh. Yeah, but that was only afterwards. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep giving me shit. So, this mod, Breeze Home, fully upgradable, is by far one of my favorite mods. Like, there's some mods that I have that I'm like, this is neat, or that's cool, or whatever, but there are a couple mods that, like, but I could live without them, but there are a couple mods that I'm just like, these are so insanely well done, and they just make the game feel so much better mm -hmm. that it's genuinely difficult for me to play without these handful of things. Fuck, we got a flawless ring. Zoom me, mama. I'm enchanting that later. Okay. Two of the biggest mods are my perk overhaul mod, Ordinator, mm -hmm. which is the one that turns the perk trees into this shit. Right. And the other one is Breeze Home Fully Upgradable, mm -hmm. which is the thing that makes the house like mega bonkers badass. Mm -hmm. Lydia, Lydia. Okay, well, she's inside she's of the tree. It. She, yeah. <laughs> it's time to decorate Lydia. You're right. Decorating with Lydia. No. Wait. Alduin is best waifu. Yeah, for real. Those are by far two of my favorite mods. I forgot to sleep. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to sleep to the next day to check if he has a thing. I thought you bought the bedroom furnishing. I don't know. We'll just, look, when we get more money, we'll just go until he's out of shit. It'll work eventually. Okay. We're just gonna keep throwing money at the steward until it works. <laughs> Magic skills increase 30% faster. I still stand by that being good. A guard may stop combat if you revert back to your last save. <laughs> no shit. I, I love these. I want to say they're called sarcastic loading screens. Oh, it's open now. It's smart Do you have a mammoth tusk? I don't think I see one. Oh, uh, darn, I thought, I'm pretty sure I got it mixed up with forger tusk. Rats. That's fine. Unless... Rats. Forger tusk. I'm pretty sure that's a skill tone, by the way. Hey, he's paying too much attention. So what are all those little quests we had? Is the only one bring the mammoth tusk? But we don't have a mammoth tusk right now. So let's do... Let's get Omrin's family sword. That's always a nice little mini one. Well, we, we get it to give to him. It's not because it's good. It's because it's, you know, it's important to him. That's what matters. Yeah. I think we'll actually end up doing that in the next episode because there's one last thing I want to do this episode. Flowers. Flowers. I see flowers. Aaron, I can't. 
keep seeing more flowers. You need to get all of the flowers. I'm glad that you encourage me. I appreciate you. Yep, no problem. Just remember if you don't, I'm going to like change your costume. Wait, what? If you don't get all the flowers, then your costume is going to come into play. I have questions. Traveling merchant mm. with potions. Uh, you good? You had a ton of money. Do you have money? You I mean, we did. don't really we don't really have anything else to sell at this point, though. So, Who's this chick just walking around. Got She's just old. There's one last thing. Sweetie? Uh. It's, uh oh, it's you. I mean, you what? No, I've never seen you before. I have no idea who you are. It's not like I've been stopping you or anything. Can she be my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Is that an option? That was fast. I mean, if you're walking around in Skyrim with a hairstyle like that, I gotta know the answer. Because that's that that's the hair, that is the hairstyle. Why couldn't I have that when I was making my fucking hair, you know? You were an elf. Really? That's it? Oh, I don't know. I don't actually know, but I imagine some are... I, I know that a lot of games have certain customization options limited to certain other ones. Like, most commonly, certain races can only have certain hairstyles, or, or genders can only have use certain colors or accessories or something. Like, a lot of games don't let the guys wear the... Um, Pink stuff? Um, what do you call them? Like, a lot of the jewelry stuff? Ah. For example, um, it, it might very well be something like that. No. Um, oh, this is awkward. Um, I took too long in the conversation, and so it bugged it out and skipped it. And I imagine you probably want to actually read it. So. May I guess? It's not like I've been stopping you or anything. Wait! Don't leave! Uh, I'm injured! Uh, yes, injured. You have to take me with you, otherwise it might die, and you wouldn't want that on your conscience. Sure. You will. Let's be <laughs> good. So easy. Okay, fine. If you take me with you, I will make it for you while. You won't find anyone tougher than me in Skyrim. Not to mention that's good looking. Welcome aboard. But the second one, because I'm creepy. Oh, we'll see about that. I could have you wrapped around my legs later in minutes. Either that, or I could have your hat as a trophy. Anyway, thanks. I'll do what I can to help. But don't push your luck. Yeah, that person. You should see what all the others are, at least. You're a first one, first one. I don't. I was hoping you would kind of keep me company. Look, I know it sounds weird, but it's no fun on my own. Agreed. You can tell me to leave if you want, but surely you can at least give me a chance. No, I can't really. What do you mean? We're doing this together. Oh, of course. Yeah. <sighs> way to go. <laughs> Why'd you say way to go? Ladies and gentlemen, my girlfriend. <laughs> Anyways, pick your option. Uh, well, I don't want to know what happened to our clothes, because... No, I just put it there because that way you can see all of them easier, because it's in oh, the middle. I know. I'm just going through my options in my head, really. 
Just don't take too long before it bugs out. Uh, sure, what happened to your clothes? Not that I found it. I have no idea. My memory is a little fuzzy. If you happen to have any, I would appreciate it. Bruh, I'm not even wearing braces anymore. Oh, staring at my body. It's like you've never seen a semi-naked woman before. You know, considering our lack of bracers, we are a semi-naked woman. <laughs> that is true. You alright? Of course I'm alright. Don't start fighting with me. I'm more than capable of handling myself. And you want up here and we can't read all of them anyway. Go ahead. Am I not allowed out on my own now? I had a little too much to drink. So what? I guess I must have passed out. This right here, this is what it feels like when you have a new player join your D&D party and you just really have to get them in the party because the players want to play together but the characters are like, I don't know man, and you're just kind of like, just fucking let it happen. That, that's right there, that's what it is. It looks like that. My name is Aurora Borealis. My name is Aurora Borealis, and I'm a fellow adventurer. Like, who the fuck do you think I am? I don't think I'm really talented, if I say so myself. So I'm sure there must be something I can do for you. Oh, there's plenty. Just let me know. Well, come on now, lady. Let me guess. You want to talk? So you've got a bunch of options here. Some relationship stats. Look at all these different things. Uh. Okay. Here. Just in case you were curious. Uh, I would like you to wear this. So what do we have for her to wear. We need to get her some clothes. That's very thoughtful of you. Well, uh, we don't really have anything to give her. We're barely wearing anything ourselves. I'll take it back to that old house. So you're saying now, huh? Well, no one thinks a fancy title is going to make me your servant. Although I must admit I'm happy for you. Perhaps I could take advantage of you sometime. Uh, I mean... If we get into trouble, I'll be my I might have known. Why is nothing ever simple in life? You go to the library to take out a book, and instead end up having to chase down a group of rogue mages. I don't see anyone else having this trouble. We should take her with us. Hey, aren't you the one who's following right now? What? Am I? Oh yeah, so since we picked her up later, she's going over dialogue for a couple of things that have already happened. So, she'll be doing this for a second. No comment. Anywho, I think that's probably about it for that episode. I just wanted to go and grab her before it ended off, and then next time we'll go and... Ooh, a questy quest. And this time we'll have somebody with us so we don't get immediately fucking dropped like a loser. That's not just anybody, though. That's our new wife. She just doesn't know it yet. I don't know. Have you heard her dialogue? It's a solid 50-50. We might be her new wife. Mm. <laughs> I'll make sure we're for that. Anyway, guys. I'm not gay. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. 
Let's go. There's so many things wrong with that chain of sentences. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. Like, oh damn. Alright, guys. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for fucking watching. Bye, guys. Bye.